closing in 10 minutes please place a food order within the next okay. five minutes we just continue drinking water so and using our free wi-fi should be live now of course <sighs> ah oopsie wrong one that's why <laughs> oh gave the wrong screen why is there no up on this okay so you got seven people who can jump into patiently stupid it was requested last time we played jackbox games so just waiting for you lovely people to come in. After that, we will have You Don't Know Jack on Party Pack 5. I have a beef with Jim. I have a beef with Jim. I'm Jim. Here's your roast beef sandwich. Thanks. And I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father. <laughs> uh, so let's see how everything's coming. Okay. Oh, people coming in now. There we go. Like I said before, this was requested last time. The next game will be You Don't Know Jack. If you want to play a game, the games are listed below. Chai tea for Frank. Chai tea for Frank. And they keep introducing me. Okay, Amber Child. So, yeah, where was I? So, the instructions are on the screen right now. Again, we're going to do one game of Patiently Stupid, then a You Don't Know Jack, uh, fifth party pack, and then if you have a game suggestion or recommendation, Mr. T, stop interrupting T, me. Three and 40 <laughs> spa trees for the gentleman in the back doing a vaudeville routine. Um... If you have a game suggestion, it's all in the description below. Just quickly type it up and I'll put it on the list of games we're due this afternoon. And of course, go to Jackbox TV for information. Enter the room code YGYQ and your name. Now wait for a couple sugar. people to come in. Careful contents may be hot. Anyone? The name on the cup says careful contents may be hot. Wait a minute. Uh. Sorry. That's the one thing I don't like about Jack Fox is I can't just jump into the action. So... I think we need three people for Patiently Stupid. So once we get three people coming in, we'll be all fine. Make right, sure. Earl Gray for Margaret. Earl Gray for Margaret. Okay. Trying to figure out how many people do I need for patiently stupid. I actually had a site that had that information somewhere. Three. Yep, I need three people. At least three. Hello, Neptune and Cons uh, Cosmetics. Again, just need some people. Oh! Got one. Just need one more and we can start this stuff up. Come on. If you're watching and you're not in, join. If you're not, if you've already joined and you're watching, share to other people to get more people in. <laughs> I've got a shot of rye whiskey for Roscoe. I oh, didn't we got so three people. A shot of rye whiskey for Roscoe. Now give them about 30 seconds to see if anyone else is going to jump in and then we'll start. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone's jumping in. We got five, four, three two, one, and we're starting. Anyone can join the audience if they j come in late.
Hello, welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. When I look out and see all three of you, <laughs> skipped a shift at the diner for three people. <laughs> what Lena means is that with an intimate group, there are fewer people that'll get rich from our secrets. But yeah, this doesn't really work with three people, so... Oh, wait a minute. There's a young man awkwardly lurking in the back. Join in, young sir. Come on, join in. Hello. Great. So now that we have a fourth and the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. <laughs> Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do a little market research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila! You've created a problem! Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So let's get to it! Okay, and again, anyone in the audience can easily join up if you're not in the audience and you want to suggest the next game we play, or if you're already in the game and you want to suggest the next game we play, very simply just type in the comments, I'll add it to the list of games, and we'll play them. Everyone, you're about halfway through, so... device you've got somebody else's problems been there simply pick the one you want to solve hello fantastic now it's time to solve that problem that's right this is when ideas become reality, using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. And don't be afraid to use a little color while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized one of the symbols I drew doesn't look so correct. Let's bring it all home. Give it a title and a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people say, "Take all my money, take it right now." Let's go. There we go. Maybe your worst enemy. Oh, can't read that fast enough. 
You guys are getting about halfway. We're halfway home. Don't try to predict the future. Just wait for stuff to happen and then say, I knew it. Present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself, too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly, Lena. Now, let's see those inventions. Come on, Smithy. <laughs> uh, present for me. I'll give you all an equal Scared advantage. Watch his work. Hey, Toby. It looks like you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. Every time I turn around, this happens. That is a problem. But I think I've got just what you need. It's something I like to call. Yeah, that sounds great, but what does it look like? Take a look for yourself. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. This looks great, Lena, but without a tagline, I'm afraid I just won't remember it. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will be <laughs> this. Beautiful! We've done something great here. And scene. Hello, 45 Gunner. Nice to have you. You can always join the audience below. I keep getting this on me. Well, I've got you covered. I'd like to call it. I'm geeking out. Let's see it. Well, looky here. Ooh, but it's all poopy without a tagline. Well, you're in luck. And that's how it's done. You can log in right now. Just go to Jackbox TV. What? Uh. And then the room number is YGYQ. We got this covered. What's up, Toby? Seems like you have a problem. You bet I do, Lena. I am so embarrassed of my passion for this. Well, I've got just the thing. Uh, yeah, that sounds like the answer to my prayers. But um, what does it look like? Glad you asked. Take a look at this. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but... What's the tagline? Get ready. You do get what we're trying to do here, right? Let's just move on. Okay, you're going to the next game. Great job, everyone. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Got all that? Good. Let's go. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm good. We just stated what the problem was as well. Great. Now let's see which inventions are destined for greatness. You'll need to acquire $1,000 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Maybe Aww. next time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're all invested. Sorry, Charlie. Really, we all got investments. Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, you'll all tackle the same problem. Oh. Okay. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. Any 
the honor of choosing that final problem goes to... You! Simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. I like how he gave the computer to select the problem. I believe Gene is a computer. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, Good definitely choice. message me. Okay, you know what's next. Let's draw. Shush, phone. Okay. About halfway there, you guys. We're halfway there. I already said that. Never admit your mistakes. Okay, time for titles and taglines. Okay, two people are waiting. You guys got tons of time, though, so don't rush. Barrier is a great teacher, but a terrible vice president. House principal, not president. Oopsie. About halfway there, you guys. Well done applies to jobs, straight, street, yeah, stakes, and when you're finished building a well. Alright, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. Okay. No, you. Do, do, do. Do, do. I keep getting interrupted when I do this. Well, I've got a solution. Just call it. Okay, I'm hooked. Let me show you. <laughs> well, slap my butt and call me Cornelius. Bring it home with a tagline. Ready, Freddy? And scene. Okay, for that for me. I keep getting interrupted when I do this. Then I've got the perfect solution. It's simply called... Don't keep my eyes waiting. Take a gander. That looks great. Give me that tagline. Here we go. And that's how it's done, everybody. Let the masters show you how it's done. Hey, Tobes, seems as if you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I keep getting interrupted when I do this. Well, I've got the fix. <laughs> okay, it's this guy again. Great. Toby, you're breaking <laughs> character. Let's just see your drawing, okay? Are you kidding me? You know what? We really need to start screening our attendees. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, gang. Now it's time to pick your favorites, but let's raise the stakes, shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. Let's see who gets funding. <laughs> Okay, we're just waiting for no you. Take your time though. 
There's a lot of really good options on the table. I'm just kidding. Oh. Sorry, Charlie. Funded. Oh, I think somebody just won. Oh, too bad. That's it. Congratulations. Congratulations. You clearly have the gift of invention. Now for some bad news. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. Yeah, it was on the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. CG. Badly stupid. Okay. That's what they say. So I actually want to go back. Yep. Now we're going to do You Don't Know Jack. And again, if you guys have a suggestion, tell me and we'll set that up. I have all five party packs, and I'll most likely get six when it releases. This screen is a binge pipe exclusive. Give me a second just to make sure everything's good for streaming. And start there. I can't go up higher. There we go. Okay, everyone. You ready? Binge Pipe is the only streaming service to determine that people really needed to hear a voice talking to them all the time when they first interacted with the user interface. And we refuse to course correct on that decision. Oh. Man, you're fast. <laughs> we got five people watching, so theoretically we should be able to get six people on. All you have to do is go to jackbox.tv and type in MJRT and whatever username you so desire. How log in again? Go to jackbox.tv and then type in the room code right underneath. You'll have to make a new tab. It's all fine. Oh, okay, it's a different bald guy. Thank you. Prepare your body for enjoyment. And just it's open a new tab, type in jackbox.tv, hit enter. You'll love our new show. You'll open up a new window. Part of and then there should be like name. And underneath that, there excuse, should be something called like room code. And you just type in MJ RT. We're not in our usual studio. This is Real Bears or Niels Bohr. And, uh. Yep, 45 Gunner found the way in. Awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you, listen. Anyone else? My least favorite Australian cereal. Give you all about 20 minutes. Or wait, 20 seconds? You can tell my neighbor's dog is very excited to list all the episodes of Pushing Daisies from most to least charming. Okay. Join us, won't you? It'll be Everyone in? We promise the clips won't sound so poorly spliced together once we get used to the software. Coming I think everyone's in, so we're gonna start it up. We've got four hours before the time portal closes. Then there's just enough time to solve the. And we're in. Is honored to be the new home of You Don't Know Jack. Binge pipe. No, you're a shell company. Cookie Masters in here. You know, I'm banned from every zoo east of the Mississippi River. But don't worry, it's for a much weirder reason than you think. You know, in a game like this, you're really competing against yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're, you're actually competing with the other players. And please follow me if you will. Time for question one. First, one mo time. What type of review would I expect to read for a lawn service called Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass? I spent the afternoon writing songs about my lawn, painted pictures of my crabgrass, charged me to write poetry about weeds, or sculpted a statue of my bluegrass. 
Dance a dance. For a second. Ah. Hey, you wrong answers. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Leaves of Grass is a collection of poems by Walt Whitman. You're gonna have to be quick, it's guys. Kind of Robert Frost service that always mows the lawn less taken. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why not try? Why did my dad get my email address? According to Godwin's Law, the giant unending group email chain from my entire family will eventually result in which message? Mom, there is no God. Dad, stop acting like Hitler. Grandma, I wish you were all dead. Or Grandpa, new phone, who dis? Hmm. Two people, one person. Oh no! Oh, people are picking it up. I agree. Ah, uh, yeah, just ignore Grandpa. The better choice would have been Godwin's Law posits that any online discussion, if it goes on long enough, will eventually result in someone comparing someone else to Hitler. And I'm not just talking about Grandma's mustache. Okay, next one. Introducing obligatory Uranus pun, but there's no time for wordplay. It's a dis or dat. Uh oh. I'm gonna list off some planets from our solar system, but also some Sex in the City characters. For each I don't know how good this is gonna go on the stream, but hey. Ring, or if there's not a ring, and ring in this case meaning wedding band or floating circle of space debris. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between ring or you might just want to look at your new tab for this one so focus up all set here we go saturn yep i think crow left us charlotte yeah i think crow left us how dare you, Quirrell? Jupiter. It wouldn't be so bad if he, since he's in the center, but he's in the center. It's noticeable. Mars. What about Gano? Uh oh. Hmm. Yep, I think Crew left us. How dare you! Samantha. Venus. Come on. Well, we know no one's gonna lose, which that's good. Everyone's gonna be a Not winner a lot of or something. Rock stars, but uh, decent rhythm section. But player three, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Binge pipe customer retention protocol has been activated. Oh, that means it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Consider yourselves nurtured, consumers. Okay. How about this one? Fart science. If someone measured your fart in pascals, what part of your fart would they be measuring? The mass of your fart, the duration of your fart, the pressure of your fart, or the frequency of your fart? Okay, two people. Got about ten seconds. Oh, well, good. Even though I think we lost another person watching, so hopefully that's not another one of you guys. Let's see how that shook out. 
A pascal is a unit of pressure, one newton of force per square meter. We are no pressure. Scientists are still figuring out how to measure how gross you are. It's time for Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. The doctor that is. Changes color, but always starts out green. Octopus, coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? I think it has to be that one. I don't know. Got two people. Smitty, don't tell me you're the one who left us. Oh, no. So who got it? You will recover from this. <laughs> really? Coffee beans start green, then usually turn oh, yeah. yellow before becoming a very appetizing yep. brown. I was an idiot. Say goodbye to round one. Let's see which of you is my favorite. Currently, player four is in the lead. Yay, Mosh Mosh! Player three, on the other hand, there's a soft spot on every apple. It's you. We have another screw to help our targeted numbers. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick, or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the, the crew are just losing. Up. Like In it ruins the it. entire point of the screws. So well, Cookie. Which sucks because that was the funnest part of this game. This one's known as, it's a total burning sensation. What has two thumbs and likes to burn books? This guy, Montag. This guy, Fox. This guy, Fieri. Or this guy, Richie. I'm taking a wild guess here. I have no clue. 45 gun. Yay, everyone's in. Let's take a look. V is for very wrong. Dang it. Guy Montag is the protagonist of Fahrenheit 451, who initially enjoys his job burning books. That would explain why I had no clue. La vie est un canard. Set. Oh, here's a good one. This pairs nicely with a laugh track. How would Ray Romano accurately describe Romano cheese to his sitcom wife? Deborah, it's hard. Deborah, it's soft. Deborah, it's creamy. Or Deborah, it's stinky. I know somebody in my family who would know, but. Who picked what? What a comedic misunderstanding. <laughs> Romano is a hard, sharp cheese. Yay! You know what else is hard? Maintaining a marriage for nine seasons. Congratulations, you two. Hey, question. We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like an easy question or a hard question? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Everyone, what do you guys choose? I hope it doesn't wait for all of us to do it. I don't see any countdown. I think it's going to wait for us to all do it. The votes are in. It is the harder Please version of TMP. Your choice. Twas then I learned to eat the wings of it. Up next, a hard question. Oh wait, I think there's been a typo. Which sandwich do they serve at parties? The hard burger, the thick burger, the wide burger. I've had the that. Acid burger. That was when I used to be like extremely healthy. I used to work out all the time. I was able to eat that. Looks like 45 Gunner is going down. Nope. What'd you guys 
his pick. In theory, you could go into a Hardee's and order a thick burger. In theory. Na, 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 na. And now, mulch love. If you wrote a Dear John letter to a John Deere tractor, what would it say? Dear John Deere, I lawn for you. Come back. Dear John Deere, I think we're mowing apart. Goodbye. Dear John Deere, I'm sad to hey that you're dying. Or, Dear John Deere, I'm pregnant with your corn babies. I, I don't know for sure. Let's see who got it. Uh, what? <laughs> Dear John letters refer to the letters women sent to their husbands oh. to break up with them. I was thinking of the found a different company. Order. It's a hydrostatic craftsman okay. from 27 and we're in love. Oh, well, that was all my points. There is no hiding from... What if they read Game of Thrones in Game of Thrones? What Ian McEwan novel would Cersei Lannister and her brother Jamie most identify with and enjoy as part of their winter book club? Amsterdam, The Children Act, The Cement Garden, or Atonement? I don't know the series at all, so... Taking that wild guess. Where's that gun? Ooh. Okay, what'd you pick? Well, now you have a wrong to atone for. <laughs> Ian McEwen's The Cement Garden is about a brother and sister who fall in love. Yeah, the same here for you, Pabagano. and Jamie Lannister. That was my second guess, though. The Cement Garden would be a great nickname for Jorah Mormont. The Jack Attack. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Party people, check out these famous parties and tell us who is in attendance. Good luck. I have an unfair advantage here. <laughs> I guess not, because on your phone you'll see them at the same time I do. I have no clue. What do you have? I hope you're ever getting those right. Taking the advantage. I like that one. That was cool. That was somewhat meta. Player 
four wins. Woo! Mosh No one thought you could do it, but you won. Congrats, my friend. Even though we all know. You don't know, Jack. Enjoy. Okay, people. Behind the scenes content. Is there anything you guys want to do? If you Any like games movies, you guys want to do? All the games are listed in the description. I'm actually gonna go to the description right now and see if there's any games I want to do. Uh, we could try some back bracketeering. You guys like that. What games do you have that's not? I have all the party packs other than six. And technically I have some of their really old games before they had the online system, but I have all their party packs from six. So, and it's all in the description below so you can judge it. I am thinking we could try some bat racketeering, which is in four. I'd have to build up four. And shush. What was that one? You guys get to see my desktop real quick. Do 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 do. As I boot this one up, and I have to adjust the audio and stuff. There we go. Boom. Party pack three or four. Well, I got four up, so you'll be happy there. Let me just go to my audio mixers and lower four so it's not screaming. There we go. Okay, turn the four screen back on. There we go. Okay, close this. Racketeering. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna boot us right in. Your your voice audio seems a little loud. I can lower that real quick. Is that better? Is my voice audio a little less and starting to the ears? Or do I need to increase it? Can you guys still hear me? Did I put it too low? Go. Hopefully I didn't put it too low. It doesn't look like I put it too low. Seems so. I do not know what you mean by seems so. Okay. Anyone who wants to play, join in. We got four people. We got more than enough slots. So just waiting for people to join. Up, oh, we got SCH. Let's see, can we get anyone else? I think we need three to start. Ah, oh, it's fine. This game's pretty simple. Pretty simple, quite funny. Up, oh, 45 G's. Anyone else want to join in real quick? Give you guys about 30 seconds. Oh, Mars is in. I think that's everyone. I'll give you guys about 10 seconds left. Okay. And now we're gonna start. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. 
The thing you could watch the longest that's not a movie, video game, or TV show. Where are my bird watchers at? You're all going to write two of your best answers. If one of them wins the whole bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. Hmm. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to Jackbox.tv and entering the room code. About 20 seconds, you all. I can't think of something else. Uh. Can't think of anything else. Time's running out. We just go with that. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to sidle up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you'll earn some sweet, sweet moolah. Oh, and don't forget, if you think your own answer is going to crap the bed, you can still get that sweet, sweet cash by predicting the correct winner. Time's running out. The predictions are in. It's time to dive into our first bracket. Oh, boy. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. Oh, wow, we're split. Just running out no. Now. Split. No. The clock wins. That wasn't even close. Our next matchup. This one seems like it's over before it's done. Dominating win. I guess everyone likes paint drying. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. <laughs> We're all a bunch of immature people here. So big you could hear it the next state over. Forty five gun for any mm. prediction winners. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. All right, split right now. I am on the edge oh of my no! Five seconds. Will we see a final push? Oh, split vote! Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. That tie went bye bye. I wonder if the ties are instantly here at my cheese. No one could have predicted this one. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Okay. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you. I think that's gonna win that one. That was an easy one. Running out. Four, three, two, 
One. Oh no, Mars! Time to step away from the prediction table. Oh. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Two Titans squaring off. I give up. Decisive victory. We're just one match away from our finals. The lead keeps changing hands. I love you people. You people are the same minds that I have. Oh. Uh. will not require a recount, but I'm not allowed to talk about politics. And now we finally decide what could you watch the longest? And it's right now split up. Oh, wrong up, people are taking the lead. It's really going back and forth. Not really. <laughs> we have our first winner. I love you, people. I did this in another game once, and no, Walmart people didn't even wow, carry through the break. first round. The score shook out. It's time for the blind bracket. We start with just the category. Name any superhero or supervillain. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. There we go, I'm in. For if I've gone or Mars, we're waiting for your last two answers, but you got about 30 seconds, so you're good on time. Let's see what this bracket is really about. Superhero or supervillain that most needs to be played by Christopher Walken. You know, I've been told oh, to one of mine's lost. Walken impression, but I refuse to do it here, so don't ask. Time to get in those predictions. Uh, hopefully that one. Or if I've gone, or you got about twenty seconds on the clock. The predictions are in. Let's see our first matchup. Former teammates, will these two answers be able to stay focused on the matchup? Yep. I don't know who chose Raven. Just running up. That was a great win. Okay, my walking's not very good. It's more like a shatter, but you did a great job. Next up. This is one for the ages. Oh, Spider-Man. Wow, split. This might be a photo finish. Moving into overtime. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. Nope, okay. So you guys do have influence on that. It's not whichever one I choose. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. Oh.
You know what would be the counter argument? No, it looks like one person is just not gonna choose. Looks like this one was obvious. And now our last two contenders face off. A real tug of war. No, uh, somebody gave up on their answer. Like falling off a log. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Four or five gun or mauls, you got about twenty seconds. Which in reality is about five, I think, between when I say it and when it actually comes out. The predictions are in. So I need to just subtract Let's five. Jump back to a bracket for round two. These answers faced off last year, but will the results be the same? So we can even it up. No, Superman for the win. We're up. And the guy who, the person on Spider-Man gave up here. Mmm. Big win, daddy likes. An easy bet that pays off. The finals are just a win away from these next two answers. Uh. Thanos is in the lead. Anyone gonna even it up? Nope, Thanos Sweet won. Luck, we have a winner. And now the final Now the greatest battle in history. Is most desperately in need of being portrayed by eccentric actor Christopher Walken. Looks like her, it's gonna be a blowout. Oh, somebody's really supporting Superman. Alright, I don't think it's enough. Nope, Thanos won. Let's check out that scoreboard. It's all been leading up to this. Time for the triple blind bracket. Triple blind this bracket. bracket will change every single round. Here's your starting category. Name a cartoon character. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's been a while since I've watched cartoon. Yeah. Okay, you got about twenty seconds, everyone. Time's running out. Tap tap ten seconds. Maz, you're the only one left. I'll just hit submit if you have anything. Hope we guess at it. Let's see what we're dealing with. The most annoying cartoon character. Time to get in those predictions. That's annoying. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. Yeah. 
Okay, I've got ten things. Oh. are in. Let's start with a bang. Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. Looks like Simpsons up. Oh, SpongeBob's gonna win. That was a slaughter. Moving on to our next matchup. Oh no! <laughs> it was SpongeBob win again. A clear favorite. Will come out on top. <laughs> Looks like we're heading to overtime on this one. Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. Ah! Guess we're gonna have SpongeBob versus SpongeBob the next one. See what's going on on the other side of the bracket. There is no love lost between these two. Let's see. Got five seconds. That's how the mayonnaise gets made. It's time to round out the last one. The this one's looking over already. Oh, snap. Everyone's in agreement. I'm saying the words right now. Everyone bets on the favorite and cashes in. We're changing that bracket title again. Which cartoon character has a dark secret? Get those uh -oh. directions in now. I had a tough one to choose between. That was a tough choice. I guess you basically got one or the other or both. What if I ran into you about five seconds? The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. No one thought it would be this close. Uh-oh. I guess Purple SpongeBob SquarePants wins. Oh my gosh, and you guys bet correctly. Congrats. This could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. Talk about a rivalry. These two competitors have been at each other's necks all week. Alright. Anyone know it's gonna vote? <gasps> Only one person think Patrick Saw has a dark secret. Hello, Charity Jones. One last switch. Most likely to break your heart. Uh oh. Who's gonna break our hearts? And now the final face-off. Shush, bomb. Could this be a blowout? Up. Yep. Looks like SpongeBob's the ultimate level. SpongeBob SquarePants wins this. But who walked away with the top score? Yeah. 
Congratulations, you all! I would have won if I got the other 45, or the other SpongeBob SquarePants in. Okay, we're gonna back out here real quick. Any games you guys have suggestions of? Let me back out one more time. Actually, if you all want, we could do Monster Seeking Monster. Yes, yes. Hez yes? Hez yes. I have no clue what Hez yes is. But you are near. I'm gonna call you Gaten. Can we wait real quick? We can wait real quick. Okay, we waited. Somebody wants to do Civil Doodle. We're gonna try to do some Civil Doodle. I'll boot it up. I'll make sure the settings and all that is working. Monster Seeking Monster, I'll add you on the list. If we got time, we're doing Monster Seeking Monster. Let me just add that so that I don't forget. Or Fibbage. We'll get Fibbage afterwards. Gosh, everyone's so demanding. Start room. There we go. Okay. Let's start this game up. Okay, just go to jackbox.tv, type in the room number, and you're good to go. Yellow. Okay, got one more person if they're interested. Give you about 10 sec or 30 seconds. Oh, 45 gunners in. Anyone else want to jump? Got about 10 seconds or so. And I'll give anyone a little bit of time as I put the host. Actually, no, I'm not gonna try to write this out. We're gonna get started. Anyone's coming in? Got 10 seconds. Nope, it doesn't look like it. I give 45 gunner attempt to time to write his out. Anyone else want to join real quick can come in as we were for 45 gunner. 45 gunner is good. Everyone's good. We're gonna start this up now. Hello. Welcome to Doodle Valley, home of the Doodle Valley High School fighting poison dart frogs. <laughs> If you see their mascot, please call animal control. Thank you all for volunteering or being unwillingly enlisted to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. Yep, remember that, guys. Go join the audience. ...everyday walls in the town into inspiring works of community art. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Amanda. Well, that's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this mural is already in progress. The local preschool was going to paint something here, but this is as far as they got before they declared it an exercise in futility. They're very advanced. What is that, a squ squiggle? I mean, they, they didn't even finish it. We believe in a little thing called mm. democracy around here. So all uh. two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Had an addition to oh, the and I'm drawing. keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers, ready, still ready, and ready. Here okay. We go. Okay. Gotta add an addition. Gotta get the color. Then grab the color. While our doodlers doodle, the rest of you can react to each drawing with the buttons on your device. Yep. <laughs> I like the vegetable one. Yeah. 
it. I may not know art, but I know what I like, and I like both. Somebody is a really good drawer. Come on, vote, why don't you? Somebody's like really good, and I'm very poor. Gosh! Look at those, they even got the squiggle right. It must be on like a tablet or something. And we've got some mail in ballots from the audience. We've got our results. Not so fast, Clementine. Each match, I'm gonna single out one emoticon for a special reward. The drawing with the most of the emoticons will get a little bonus. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hearts. Oh, I didn't get any emoticons, so. Fantastic. Okay, Polo M45 Gunner, it's your attempt. And I think we're good. Time to vote. Okay. You're up next. Thank you. Here we go. And the audience. Oh wow, disagreement. This time the bonus goes to the drawing with the most poop. Good job, 45 Gunner. The people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. Go. Hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> we are ruining this drawing slowly. He's gonna win the vote. I tried putting on glasses. Okay, count them up. You mean a monocle? Ooh, 50-50. Party pack six? I don't party pack That's six isn't that. out yet. Go. I'll never check, but I'm almost certain party pack six is not out yet. Thursday. Thursday is when party pack six is coming out. This is just fair for it. Calm down, you guys. We're gonna get there. I promise. It's voting time. We're gonna get there, you guys. It's all fine. Let's count those votes. Wow, 
Wow! Stop everything. I think this piece is finished. Now it just needs a title. Use your devices to suggest one. Okay, I got my name. Let's see. Yep, oh, everyone's in. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm adding trivia mortal party onto the list, but right now next is monster seeing monster. The hard I won! Yay! <laughs> I sure am glad we made this a volunteer project instead of, you know, paying anyone. Now that's art! Where's the next stop on our beautification tour? Right! No, wait. Right here! Remember, you always can join the audience. Get ready for community fun! Go. I'm so lucky I don't have to start with this. Woo woo. Doing. I love this part. Next up. Go. Okay, I know roughly what I want to do. I can't vote. I want to vote. <laughs> I like one, I like the other one better than mine. Mine's gonna win, but I like the other one. Rack up those votes. Ah, audience, decide. Dang it, the audience wasn't there to decide. Oh, I have to draw now. Dang it. Yep, I screwed up. But like Bob Ross taught, taught me, Everything she's a pretty little mistake in the cloud. Time to vote. Please guys, don't choose mine again. 
I'm begging you. I'm begging. Choose the better one. Somebody has down. Moment of truth. Thank Obvious. you. Like, Smithy has talent. Up next. Go! I definitely don't know. Hopefully this is the end. Here we go. Add in the audience. I'm not exactly sure what to call this, but it does need a title. <laughs> to you and vote. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, I'm gonna have to choose that one. That one was the best out of all of the ones that I did not write. Of course, mine was the very best. Oh, by the audience! Prepare See, this is why you guys' audience are very important. I wonder if we should have started with a smaller surface. Jeepers, <laughs> that's keen. Oof. What's next on the agenda, sir? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Mrs. Vanderstein. Last one, guys. What is it, sir? Your art has moved me to commission you to do a portrait. One that'll hang in the town hall. <laughs> Listen up, everyone, because this time you're all drawing at once. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine... Audio still seems mad. Let me lower that, then. Valley phone book. Hopefully that's there better. You go, a fine okay. subject for our portrait. Okay, but how, about now? how are we yep, supposed to know better. what they look like? Ah, you remember them. They live near the sinkhole. Mer not not the sinkhole on 22nd Street, but the sinkhole. Oh, that should you be and good me, now. I don't think he knows who it is either. So let's just start by drawing the face on the left. Any face will do. So many good choices here. Let's vote on who's is best. Gosh, you guys can't even realize what you said. Face on the left. 
left you are. Not all the pieces. But somebody clearly is using like a draw drawing tablet or something. Plus the audience. All right, let's move on to the middle face. Middle face, middle face. That one, that one is funny. I think I know what the reference to the first one is, though. And so, Smitty, you're a great artist, but you draw the exact same style, which makes me not want to choose you. Even though it's nice, I know who it is. What did the audience think? Audience, come on! <laughs> You can't let him win. Now at base number three. <laughs> I guess we gotta match these talents. Everyone draw like me. too many good laughs. I know you're gonna win, so I'm just gonna vote for you, but man. You must be drawing on a tablet or something. There's no way you're doing this by hand. And the audience? <laughs> I got I stole some of the points off of your style though. Finally, finish off this drawing with anything you want. Go nuts okay. with it! Now this is where Smitty has competition.
Last vote. Make it count. <laughs> oh. oh, there's just so many good ones. Oh, they, I love them. I love it all. Audience votes in. <laughs> Vinny, you are too good. Buckle up, here comes the final piece. Oh, That's Smitty, like you are great. Photograph. You all did our job. Uh, well, let's see who can did it the proudest. Oh, are you done? Definitely gonna hit you. Okay, next is Monster Seeking Monster. Okay, I'm gonna make sure the settings on there are all good. Okay. Definitely gonna have an audience. Extended timers. Make me in control. There we go. There we go. Okay, everyone. Don't steal my jazz. Whew. Can we do any theme? What do you mean, any theme? I don't know what you mean by theme. gonna come join? Oh, we got four teams. Now let Smitty decide their character real quick and then we'll start up. Yep. Awesome. I just recommend keeping hey, the chat. Welcome to Monster PG Monster. I'll be your love guide, Felicia the Ever Living. I'll be hosting six nights of suspense-riddled romance where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins. Usually. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Oh, and you can date the audience, which is collectively controlling this player by voting on everything they do. There's no one in the audience yet, but you can join at any time oh. during the game by going to jackbox.tv and using the room code. Okay. Until someone joins, the audience will just make random choices on its own. Let's all take a chance on love in a room filled with potentially terrifying monsters. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. Audience's first message is automatically sent to everyone each night, and it shows up here on the screen too. Isn't that fun? I probably 
probably should have mentioned that some of your conversations will appear on screen during the date. Oh well, I'm sure it won't be incriminating. See how long we can last. And I think 45 gunner suggested Fibbage. Any particular Any seconds box until any unsent messages are lost forever. Hurry up. On your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. This is like some wonderful nightmare. Two people are left to date. One person left to date. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. This game is odd. Or is this a dating game? We're just dating each other. Okay, let's see who everyone tried to Getting date. Intimate. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This so is just the first you all better subscribe night. if we're all being so intimate. <laughs> Aww. There's another one for you. Can I get my date? Mm -hmm. Yay! Like oh wow! The same idea. Let's see what happens. Man, oh, man <laughs> was on demand. Ooh, that's not good news for you. Sorry. Wow, what an exciting first night. Let's go to the scoreboard. It looks like you are currently doing the best, and you're temporarily in last place. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh, just an FYI, there's a full moon out tonight. Maybe that affects you, probably it doesn't. You can double check your monster ID if you can't remember. Okay. Now that we know how this works, let's just jump into sending out those messages. block another player from messaging you, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, you can also find the block button so you won't see their messages.
20 seconds. I love this because I don't know what you guys are saying. Alright, it's time to pick dates again. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. Forty five gunner, you're the one last one left. Just select somebody you're dating, forty five gunner. It's simple. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. Time to see the dates. Hello? Oh. <laughs> At least it was a match. Looks like someone else wanted in on that action and failed. Ah, didn't pick a date. I have to take away a heart now. We already know how this will go. Aww. I'm so sorry. Definitely happened there. Don't forget, from now on, hmm. at the end of each night, a new monster will be revealed. You're in the top spot. Let's see what kind of monster you are. Body Swapper! On a full moon, the Body Swapper swaps hearts, all of them, with the person they successfully date. You can read that again whenever you want on your device by hitting the info button oh. on your chat screen. The same oh, goes man. for any monster after me. they revealed. He hurts me so bad. Oh, little man, you... Uh-oh, full moon tonight. You hurt me so bad. Oh. Message time. has no messages waiting for responses, they send their messages to me, and I show them to you. Only 20 seconds left. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. I'm closing my 29 eyes. What if I've got one? It's date time. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, rejection. Stay right there. There's more. <laughs> yes! Thank you. Body swapper means you two are swapping hearts. <laughs> Looks like someone was hoping this date wouldn't work out. Aww. We know how this is gonna end. What about them being boys? There's nothing wrong with that because they're actually monsters. Let's see if any of that changed the social pecking order. Ooh, things are moving. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. Glob. Every time the Glob successfully dates three new players, its heart tally doubles. Okay. I know how to deal with you, Glob. Get to messaging. Second warning. Oh, sorry. Time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. It's times like these I love being a matchmaking monster. If I'm gonna, you're the only one left. Good job. Okay, Sweet. let's see them. I guess not much into money. Don't go yet. There's more. Aww. You two were maybe playing a little too hard to get. Wait. Looks like someone had the same uh -oh. idea. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> That's kind of awkward for you, huh? Someone's lining up, hoping to be next. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. I'm sorry, Lunar Moon. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Definitely saw some movement in there. Let's see what you are. Werewolf! 
On a full moon, werewolves get a bonus heart for dating and then turn their dates into a werewolf. But if a werewolf is rejected on a full moon, they lose half a heart. Night, night. Keep your eye on that full moon. Message time. Hmm. People are still busy keeping typing on their phones. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. The excitement is almost bringing me back to life. Moon or man. Hey, it's date time. No messages, huh? Right there, there's more. At least it's a match. They might not see eye to eye, but they at least match. dated on a full moon the werewolf turned you into a werewolf it's a gift and a curse <laughs> yay promise was kept Any of that changed the social pecking order. Okay, let's see your secrets. Mother. The mother receives a bonus heart every night their child does not get a date. Good luck, mommy. <laughs> It's last, our last night, night together. Everyone. Make it count. And this will most likely be the last for the game. Maybe it's a trivia mortal party. It's such will a special next. night. Get to messaging. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, 45 gun. Let's 
make some trouble. Cause you know now all the floors are double. Thirty seconds, everyone. What say you and me? We get together romantically. You know it's time to cheer down to twenty seconds. The last time there's not a night. The only one to choose is me. Then we'll be the next to see. Pick me on the count of three. Oh, sorry, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. This part really gets the goo rushing through my veins. Moon or Moon, you're the last one. Let's see how bad this got. Let's see the dates. Oh, rejected. Stick around. There's another one for you. <laughs> Matched. arriving suitor approaches. Let's see what happens. That's kind of awkward for you, huh? I'm sorry, Midnight. Yeah. Yay! I guess Let's see the almost final standings. One last thing. It's time for the after party. Time to reveal any remaining hidden monster powers. Time for another reveal. Ventriloquist puppet. Sad people love puppets. The ventriloquist puppet gets a bonus heart every time they date someone that was rejected the night before. The Vengeful Ghost starts the game with a bonus heart. When the Vengeful Ghost asks someone on a date and gets rejected, that person loses a heart. Zombie. Everyone the zombie dates turns into a zombie, and everyone new zombies date also turn into a zombie at the end of the next night. At the end of the game, if everyone is infected, it's the end of the world. <laughs> Invisible person! The invisible person started the game with two bonus hearts. The invisible person's score is invisible, so they appear to be in last place until the end of the game. Time to tally up any after-party bonus hearts. Let's see if anybody became a werewolf. That doesn't affect the score. I just keep my eye on werewolves. <laughs> How does that affect the final standing? But oh, wait. wow. We still need to find out who got infected by the zombie virus. This could be an everybody loses situation. Those were some slow zombies. And I think that is the end of the game and the end of the night. I hope everyone has a great upcoming week. I'll see you all Friday. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I recommend totally subscribing. I play various games. This is one that everyone seems to properly like and demand. Um, and that shall be the end of tonight. I wish you all the very best. Bye-bye.